Hi there, and thank you for watching this video. I'm Jaap Harmburov, I'm the founder and senior developer of Film Impact Premium Tools, and I'm here to show you uh, how to work with the Flash Impacts video transition. And for this um, example, I've added uh, some footage of a modern looking kitchen. And say this is meant as a promotional video on this particular um, kitchen. You can add the uh, Flash Impacts video transition to add some energy and uh, really grab the attention of the, the viewer's eyes. And so start out by looking for the Flash inside the um, effects library. And here you find it sitting under Film Impact Essentials. And applying is as easy as drag and drop. So drag, drop, and see what it does out of the box. So there you go. So it's a full-blown flash. And um, when you click the effect and head over to the Effects Controls tab, uh, you'll find all the different parameters controls that belong to this, this particular effect. And what I'd recommend is putting the playhead just in the around the center of the video transition and uh, pull down the master controls all the way down where, where some of the uh, areas are becoming visible. And so, so play with that and, and look around here is good and just see how that works for you. And this is actually already pretty good. And what I notice on this uh, video transition, it's uh, the, the flash actually adds a lot of saturation to the colors and you can bring those uh, colors down uh, just by increasing the desaturation slider. And Let's see how that works and just it will bring down the intensity of the colors, right? Now play with the uh, the blur amount and uh, see what what that does. It, it's it's adding a dreamy look and I suggest be careful with this because this can be distracting. Uh, so be careful with that. I'm gonna lower it to around 10. that will be good. yeah 11 that's that's perfect. Yeah, looks good. Um, the glow amount will uh, will control how much of the the bright areas are being uh, bled into the darker areas of the uh, footage, and see if if something. I mean, we don't have a lot of dark areas here, so this con this control isn't particularly visible. But that all depends on the footage that you're using. Um, now, as for adding some chromatic aberration. That will uh, add some RGB split, and that will introduce some uh, red, green, uh, bluish colors onto edges, which can be very, uh, very nice and modern. And finally, let's talk about the dissolve time. The dissolve time, so I'm gonna zoom in. So the transition starts here, ends here. And to show you the dissolve time, I'm going to lower down the master all the way down to zero. And now you can kind of see how the dissolve, how much time the dissolve is actually taking. And um, let's pull down the, the dissolve time all the way down to zero. And that will create a like a cut, like an instant cut uh, exactly at the center of the transition. When I... Um, pull it up all the way to 100, it will use the entire transition length for doing the dissolve and anything in between. Uh, so uh, I'm gonna reset this parameter and have the master control set to about 70. I think that was about it. Yep, beautiful. And now let's talk about transition timing. Uh, when you double click a transition, you'll see the uh, transition duration. And this is set for a full second. And you can add um, the number of frames here. So uh, just, just adding 15 will mean 15 frames. And this is 25 frames per second sequence. So, and this will, will, this will give it a more rapid video transition. And um, uh, Think about the rhythm of your video, and depending on the kind of music you may be using on this video, uh, it actually works to 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 play with the um, the timing. And even even pulling it down to like eight frames can be very effective. I mean, depending on this is a very 
like a blink of an eye flash, and this can be very energetic for uh, for your video. Um, but hey, that depends on the, on the the rhythm of your your video. I'm um, I'm pulling it back to 18 frames. See how that works. Yeah. So I think this is good enough. Um, and let's copy and paste this video transition onto other cuts. And that is done just by simply selecting the video transition and click Command C, and then selecting another cut and hitting Command V. And again, do the, the same for the cut here, selecting the cut and Command V. And now we're ready to see the final result. And you can see this is working very effective on promotional videos. And I hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.